Other interesting cultural news, you have In-N-Out Burger to close their forced store ever in the 75 years they've been in business due to, spoiler alert, crime in California. Now this comes to us thanks to Madeline Helbert over at the BBC, and they note that there's a concern of crime in Oakland, which who would have thought it? Let me see here. And they note that the store will be closing on the 29th of March. Now, in terms of the statement from the company, which they, again, they're a huge, they're a huge company, thousand main locations. They are very politically correct in their statements. I'll translate for you. They say, quote, despite taking repeated steps to create safer conditions, our customers and associates are regularly victimized by car break-ins, property damage, theft, and armed robberies, unquote. I will translate. The culture of this area is morally depravably, mentally vacuous, some might say, and you're hurting ourselves, our customers, and our brand. We are leaving. There's no incentive for us to stay. We're losing money. That's the reality of the situation. It has everything to do with losing money and just the safety of everyone. Because, again, not just from a moral concern, you want your employees and your customers to be safe, but also we live in an extremely litigious society. They could face lawsuits if they're not properly protecting their employees and providing a safe work environment. There's really not an upside or incentive to keep it open, which is why you've seen even companies as large as Walmart that could fiscally withstand a loss of a store. But even they are closing their stores in neighborhoods where they're getting robbed. There's a couple of locations in Chicago or suburbs of Chicago, all the same county, in which Walmart hadn't made a profit in 17 years. It's that bad, the crime. Now, they, in terms of statistics, they know that violent crimes increased by 18% from 2019 to 2022, according to the data from the police department. Robberies rose by 37% and burglaries by 24% in 2023, according to the data reviewed by KPIX, a local affiliate of BBC's U.S. partner, CBS News. Now, this says less and less people are actually calling in crime because, again, they see the district attorneys in California and they just don't prosecute crime. They famously decided to make it no longer a felony to steal, basically. So, and again, you get what you vote for. Culturally speaking, they voted for this. They wanted it. So, if you used to be back in the day, and I say back in the day, you know, 24, 36 months ago, if you stole an item over a certain dollar amount, you'd be prosecuted. It'd be a felony in California. Now they changed the law so that if it's under $950 of value, well, now it's a misdemeanor, which, again, the way the public justice system works in the United States, it's a very big volume business. They don't want to take the time, energy, and resources to take it to an actual court to be litigated, so they do a lot with plea agreements. So they would give you a lesser offense to give you an incentive to plea right then and there. So instead of pleading it down from a felony, they're pleading it down from a misdemeanor into something lesser. And in some cases, they aren't even prosecuting them at all. So they have very much building their own culture in Oakland. And again, this restaurant just said, you know what, we just can't take it. Now, they noted that several other, let's see here, even though the whole US murder rate, so in the country, the murder rate went down by 10% last year and violent crime also dropped down dramatically according to the FBI, but not Oakland. Who would have thought? So again, culturally speaking, the crime is getting out of control and yet, I don't see anything changing anytime soon. And this will get worse and worse as more and more businesses, especially right now, a lot of hard times for a lot of companies and a lot of people, they can't afford to have these operations anymore where they're losing money. It used to be back in the day, they would accept a certain amount of slippage if you're a store or retailer, you're having some products being stolen. They could absorb a certain amount of losses because overall they're still making a profit. Everyone's tightening their, their belts these days. They just can't take it anymore. And culturally speaking, I do hope things turn around or there's some type of grassroots initiative to clean up the city or, I mean, a lot of people say, I mean, there's a, a lot of people are debating the loss of religion being a contributing factor, a lot of faith goers going down. Culturally speaking, there's also a lot of people that are just not in touch with their local community. Obviously, it's a complex situation with many variables, but at the end of the day, the out, outcome has been increased crime, increased theft, increased property damage. And these businesses, especially in California, they just can't take it more. So a lot of them are just leaving all completely. Now, again, this is just one location, but it is interesting. This company has been around for almost a hundred years. And yet this is the first time they have to close down a, a site. And it's because of the cultural decay of Oakland. So obviously there's some myriad of incentives for the, I do hope things get better. 
because the benefits would be numerous, not just, you know, fiscally for businesses and people, but culturally it'd be a huge turnaround. And I think, you know, it's necessarily needed. Unfortunately, I don't see, <laughs> excuse me, I don't very much see a cultural roadmap or I don't see a lot of people trying to get it moving in that direction. I see a lot of people and businesses leaving because this what's being done on local level. So I almost say this is the business blunder of the day, but it's not. It's the right thing for the business to do. It's the safest thing for the employees as well as their prospective clients. And it'll be interesting to see if there's type of a cultural shift where maybe, you know, things start to start to turn around or it just continues down the good old slippery slope, which is no longer really a theory. It's just, I would say it's more of a fact. Let me know in the comments. Are you surprised things are getting worse in Oakland? Do you, do you think any businesses, will any business go there to open up a store to try to replace this because they think there's, there's a gap in the market for a new fast food place there? I mean, I wouldn't put any money on it, but as always, be fascinating to hear what you have to say. Thank you everyone again for taking the time to tune in today. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of January, so if you click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a thumbs up, a thumbs down, or a comment is a great way to give me some additional comments and additional feedback on how I can make the show better and better. Also, and lastly, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone, just stay safe, fight the good fight.